Yo guys, what's going on? It's Burke Crown coming out of the YouTube video and today we've got a handful of new cards, some good looking cards, some fun looking cards. But first we gotta start out with another big miss by EA. This is unfortunate because this is like such a blatant miss that I have no idea what to say. It's like they did something, they gave us something, we loved it, we hated it, you know, mixed emotions on both sides for a bunch of different people. But then they did this to really, I just think, set set everything off a little bit. I don't get it. It's a big miss. Let's get into it. Let's talk about that first, and then we'll go look at the cards. I hope you do enjoy the video, guys. Leave in the comments section down below what you think of the cards and this unfortunate new objective. Let's get into it, guys. I hope you enjoy it. So they gave us community request cards and celebrity cards, which I will get into, and we'll show you the cards. We'll break them down and see who the best one is. But with that, they gave us an objective on how to get a random celebrity card on how to get a random community request card but they did it with weekly base icons why wouldn't they have dropped this when they dropped the hot champs when everyone had the team they were playing the games that would have been the time to do it but let's get by that oversight i think this was poorly executed i think this this could have been a lot better if this had been dropped with the hut champs or maybe they waited and hut champs was this week with the base icon so they could have given the community request card as a, as a bonus i think all of that would have come together and people would have liked it more but you know if you still got those base cards which a lot of us don't because we sold them to try to recoup some coins score goals get assists perform deeks make passes body checks shots so it, it, there's not a lot we can go spam them in squad battles if you even want to go get those base icons back to try to get it done but like for me i really wish this had been done during the hut champs event because then you would have been working on this stuff while you were doing hut champs like i'm not saying in hut champs i got 55 goals in well actually i'm pretty sure i got 55 goals and i would have gotten the assists and the deeks i probably wouldn't have but that you can just get behind the net and then the passes and the body checks and the shots, I would have gotten all of those done in champs and it would have felt good and rewarding not having to grind it in squad battles while I was using this team. But, you know, we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna get into the new cards that they just dropped today. That's my little rant about that. I wish they had to drop this with the Hut Champs event or objective. Now, the new cards. The exciting part of today. New cards, guys, and we have celebrity cards as seen on TV. McDavid goes to a 99 with his 32nd assist in the playoffs. Pretty big. By the way, big Edmonton game tonight, guys. Hopefully they win. And then the celebrities as seen on TV. We got we got Weeks, Rudy, Ferrero, Simpson, and Paul Bissonette. 96 overall, Paul Bissonette. That could be a fun card. We're going to take a look at all these as well as looking at the community day request cards. We got some interesting look at cards here. We got one really unique card as Adam Fantilli can't get a picture on a custom card. That's, uh, that's a little rough, but you know, we're used to that by now. I still think the community day cards should have a set in the current event, whatever's going on, where you can build sets to get the community day card, or at least a random one, a choice pack, something. These community day cards are great to get, but unfortunately the only way you can get them is in packs from the store or rewards so that's tough i wish you could build them and get a community day card you wanted these are request cards from the community by the community for the community that you can only get through packs randomly and with luck i don't like that so because there's only five of them we will start with the celebrity craig simpson he's six foot two 96 speed you know 96 overall cards are gonna be well he has snipe off the rush and no contest i love all three of those and what does he have shooting boost power forward two-way forward sniper sniper forward by the way sorry and then playmaker boost dangler boost shooting boost checking boost no speed boost you can get his shooting up to a 99 and that'd be that'd be fun paul bissonette enforcer forward getting this card up to a 97 speed speed boost would have been beautiful if we could have got a 99 speed paul bissonette that would have been unreal it would have been awesome but then he has crease crasher which could be fun no contest and truculence which also could be fun great looking card with 99 shooting Whoo ray ferraro five foot nine shrug it off of course make it snappy 99 speed 95 shooting no no boost or anything that you'd look to add but you know the only one i like is make it snappy for his abilities hey <laughs> kelly rudy a five foot ten goalie watch out for those short side over the shoulder snipes his boost he's got speed boost and acceleration boost defense and playmaking boost butterfly effect post to post no timer and a light work not a bad ability set but five foot ten is absolutely unusable 
And then Kevin Weeks, six foot two, a little more usable, but still unusable. Light work and showstopper. Not a bad card. I just, again, I don't like goalies that are that small. And then we've got the community request cards, guys. All 95s. And let's go. Backhand beauty, or I guess beauty backhand if we want to word it right. Uh, beauty backhand, make it snappy, unstoppable force. 97 speed for Adam Fantilli. I like this card, but is there better? 99 speed for Megan Keller. Let's go. She comes with shutdown. Can't hate that. You know, 5'11 small. But with wheels, like as in skating fast, I think she'll do all right. No contest. She wins some random puck battles and, uh, you know, could be a good card. Alex Debrinkit, 5'8", 99 speed. Cole Caulfield, when he shoots the puck, it goes in the net. I'm expecting this out of this Debrinkit card with 99 shooting. Uh, with 99 speed, it'd be nice to have. 5'8 is tough, but I feel like the shorter players always bury. Chris Letang, quick pick and shut down, 96 speed. And that is where he'll stay is at 96 speed. Fun, fun card. You know, fun card with 96 speed. I wish he had been faster or given me a boost to get him up a little bit more. Domenico, let's go, buddy. 96 speed, 5'11". Comes with shock and on, make it snappy. Tape to tape and 1T. So make it snappy, 1T, tape to tape. I like those uh, abilities on him. No, no skating ability, unfortunately. Brodine. Brodine comes with quick pick, shut down, 96 speed at 6'2". And no skating boost to help him out. But 96 speed is not terrible. Willie O'Ree, let's go. Unstoppable force, no contest, tape to tape. Unstoppable force, I haven't really been using a lot this year. But no contest and tape to tape is nice. 97 speed on Willie O'Ree. No skating boost, unfortunately. Alex Boros. Who remembers when Alex Boros came out at the start of the year with his he headliner event? People love the card, and maybe they'll love this one. Off the Rush, Crease Crasher, and Tape to Tape are the only ones I would probably look at out of this ability set. 96 speed, 95 shooting. Okay. Nicholas Jalmerson. Quick pick and shut down. That's the only ones I really care about on defense. If you want to stretch it and go tape to tape for those nice passes, go right ahead. 95 speed, 6 foot 3 is not bad. He comes with enforcer defenseman, so you can actually get that up to 97 speed, which is really good. Brooks or pick, 6 foot 3 again. Shut down and quick pick because they know what we love. 95 speed, enforcer defenseman. Gets him up to 97 speed, so just like Jomerson, this, uh, this or pick's a really good card. That is... The cards for the day, guys. Uh, what do you think of the objectives? It's a, it's a little bit of a bummer for me that it didn't drop when Hut Champs Icon Base event was going on. But we got it now. So are you going to do it? Are you not going to do it? What are you going to do? Are you going to get one of the Community Day request cards? And uh, what do you think of all the cards? I like them, guys. I think they're built well. They got the ability set we love, which in this overall category of 95, the ability set is more important than the individual stats. So I like them, and I might try to get myself one or two. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, ciao, ciao.